Introduction to LabVIEW, Part 4, Booleans. Booleans are going to be incredibly important. And Booleans essentially are true or false, on or off, opposites. So I'm going to the Boolean palette, and I'm grabbing uh, Boolean in indicators and controls, switches and lights. They are either on or off, and I am putting them on my front panel. I also like to turn off labels I don't need or to rename labels so that they make more sense. That way then I can find the matching block on the block diagram much more quickly. And I'm also going to add some decorations, kind of group my switches and lights together on the front panel. Put them in the wrong order, so I'm going to have to move that decoration to the back so it's behind the switches and lights. All right, let's look at the block diagram. You'll see that for every switch and for every light, there will be a corresponding block, and Booleans are green. I'm going to put a while loop around this so that when we run it, it will run until I push the stop button. When the stop button is pushed, it will be equal to true, and this loop will stop if it gets a true. So I'm going to wire my stop button to the stop sign in the loop. I'm going to rearrange my booleans here so that they make a little bit more sense. Alright, I'm going to take this switch and wire it to the red light. So when the switch is true, the light will be on. And when the switch is flipped off, the light will turn off. Here are the next two. They're a little bit more complicated. They're going to be dealing with AND and OR. For AND, the answer to both switches must be true for the light to turn on. So let's put an AND into our block and wire it up. My two switches will go into the AND and it will go out into the light the boolean indicator. Let's also look at the OR. And in OR, only one thing needs to be true for the answer to be true. 
So grab your OR block, wire your two Boolean controls into it, and then wire it to the light, the Boolean indicator. All right, one last one. We are going to use a switch to turn on the beep in your computer. We're going to need a case statement. A case statement is something where it will do two things, one for true and another for false. So put a beep block into the true. So wire the switch for the beep to the case statement. And if you look, we have the beep only in the true. If you go to the false, it will be empty. Let's go ahead and run the program. All right, let's try the basic switch. It's switched on and off. On, off, on. All right, let's try the OR. If only one switch is on, the light will come on. If both switches are on, it's still true, it will be on. Only one switch needs to be on for it to all be on. That's the way OR works. Only one thing needs to be true. For an AND, they, most, they both have to be true. So here's one true and one false. When they're both true, they come on. If only one is true, they won't come on. The light will not come on. All right, let's try the switch for the beep. Finally, our program's still running until we press stop. Your challenge is to place three switches and one Boolean light on the front panel. How can you connect them so if any one of them is true or on, then the light will turn on?